guys, Lori here. I'm back. It's actually Ju July 15th, which means this month is going much, much faster than I have wanted it to. But that's okay. So this month, this week is actually somewhat exciting. I actually have a lot of fun things planned. Um, I'm going to Epic Reads Day on Friday, which is at HarperCollins headquarters in New York City, and I'm going there on Friday. Um, on Thursday is, this week is San Diego Comic-Con week, which means I won't be in San Diego, which I'm so sad about. But the positive news about that is Funkos are released, and I get to watch the panels via my computer, which I'm always so excited about. So those are two fun things that are happening. And my lovely friend Sarah, who used to be a co-blogger on my site, um, was able to get a copy of Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. And she's loaning it to me so I can read it before she does because I'm a much faster reader than she is. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into this read. And I would love to actually tackle this all this week because it's a little bit of a longer read. Um, I just started it. And I would definitely classify this as like, a thriller but that has some paranormal elements to it um I'm li I literally read the first like 43 pages of it um I was a big fan when I was younger I love Joshua Jackson and they had a movie called Skulls which he was in all about secret societies in Yale and I like love that movie so much so there's elements of that there's like a lot of like you basically get thrust into this story like in like a certain timeline but you don't know what happens in the past and you don't know what happens in the future and you really don't know this world which I do admit can be a little bit confusing um but I'm actually really enjoying it the lead character is super unlikable right off the bat but the world the way she's crafting it is like really intriguing so I'm definitely gonna finish it um I tend to like thrillers I tend to like books that mix worlds like a lot I had that with Broken Things by Lauren Oliver that I really liked I love the Mortal Instrument books as well like that is probably one of the only paranormal series that I actually wound up finishing um and I'm still hopefully gonna finish the rest of those books but yeah so right now I'm about 43 pages into Ninth House um, it's definitely a thriller with some paranormal elements. I know that everyone at Owl Crate has loved this book, and I normally have pretty similar taste to them, but another one of my friends really didn't like the book, so I'm going to go in with a really open mind. It doesn't come out until October, um, but yeah, that's my plans right now. I'm going to tackle this. I also really have to start planning. I don't know if I'm going to plan today for school or plan tomorrow. But I do have some time today, so I might go back and do that. I also want I I'm I'm also in the middle of reading um, Empire of Storms, and I finished my chapters today, which I'm really happy about. And I did finish Geekerella last week, so I might wind up picking up The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. Um, and I did wind up finishing Stranger Things season three for the second time, so that means I can move on to another evening show that I watch, which is probably going to be The Umbrella Academy. On Netflix um, but yeah I'll, I'll try to update you guys at some point today to let you guys know what I wind up doing if I wind up making a lot more progress on Ninth House I'll definitely check back in but I'll talk to you guys later for another update hi guys Lori here I'm just checking back in I actually did wind up doing some organizing for school um, I listened to some of my podcasts which was really exciting and I did make some progress on Ninth House um, by Lee Bardugo I'm now on page 86 this is most definitely a slow burn story. Um, but it's also like a super rich world, which I think um, is really compelling. Like, I want to know, like, how this world is built. I want to know, like, all the intricacies of this world. This story also has, like, seven mysteries. Like, well, not... It, it, it has, like, a bunch of mysteries. Like, there's one mystery about Alex's past... There's one mystery about Alex, like something else that happened to Alex. There's another mystery about where her, um, her, um, her person is. And then there's like, a, like her, the one, the guy that she's been, like her mentor basically. And then there's a mystery about murders that are happening. Um, but it's like, it's all like very like, it's just very, very slow. Like I'll say that it's a very, very slow story, but I'm liking it because the world is so rich if you don't like slow stories, this may not be the read for you, um, but the world is very, very rich. It's definitely like a fantasy novel, I'll say that, or even like a paranormal novel. Um, I'm loving the Secret Society connection. 
she as a character is like really interesting and you the one thing I do like or the one thing I'm curious about is that it's like a dual it's like a various timeline novel and then in addition to the timelines you get like um excerpts from like um the books that you are when you become like a leith which is what the society basically is um so I'm really liking that um but yeah, it's 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 a very slow read, but it's not a boring read if that makes sense. So definitely compelled. I'm definitely interested. I'm just curious to see what mystery is gonna like pop first. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm I'm now currently I'm watching the last final episodes of The Flash, which I never actually got to watch. Um, and then I'm gonna go dive into the Umbrella Academy. So maybe I'll try to read. I want to get up to at least page 100 tonight. That's my goal. Um, and then I'll probably go and I'll watch the Umbrella Academy. So that's my plans. And either I'll update you guys after the Umbrella Academy or tomorrow morning. I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hey, it's Larry here. I'm back. It is Tuesday, um, June 16th. And I am making some progress on Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm now on page 130. I would love to tackle, get up to page 200. This book is very interesting and it's a very like rich read like you really need to pay attention to this book I will say that um but it's there's a lot of mystery in this book there's a lot of like things because you basically get sucked into the story in the middle and you're kind of doing going between two timelines normally um but I'm just curious to see like if there's going to be like a bigger mystery I guess that's like my only question right now but the world is really, really rich. It's a very, like, you have to really think when you read this because it's, like, taking our world and kind of adding ma fantasy and magic everywhere. Um, I really do like the main character. I'll say that. I think she's, like, an interesting lead to have because she's definitely not likable. I'll say that. She's not a likable character. But I am enjoying most of the elements of this book. Um, what I might do is I might try to read 100 pages and then, like, maybe pick up a, a contemporary just to, like, kind of offset it. So that's kind of my plan. I'm going to go for a quick bike ride. Well, not a quick bike ride, but a, but, a, but a bike ride and kind of go read for a bit and see if I can get up to page 100. We'll see. It may it, I may have to do some other things as well, but that's the plan. I've also, I'm, I, I also listened to my three chapters of um, Empire of Storms, which is really nice. Um, and I might start The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord today. It just depends on how long my bike ride actually takes. Um, and I did start watching The Umbrella Academy on Netflix. I'm on episode two. Um, and I'm really liking it so far. I love Ellen Page. I've loved Ellen Page since she was in Juno. Um, but it's really interesting. Basically, it follows these, like, seven characters. And, you know, 18 years ago, their mo their, their mothers woke up. Um, they were not pregnant. And then they wound up giving birth that day. Um, and this eccentric millionaire wind up collecting, like, seven of them and living and having them grow up together. And all these kids wind up having powers or some type of power. But Ellen Page's character d did not. She was not special. So it kind of created like a division between them. And now the, the series starts with where this benefactor has died. And they're all kind of like, I guess, re, re they're all kind of like going back together. They're all like kind of living together for the first time in a while or even just seeing each other. So I'm really liking that. I hope to tackle a few more episodes tonight. And I did actually catch up on The Flash. I have one more episode to go. And then I'm going to kind of attack my DC shows that I just kind of left on the black burner. Um, and also Veronica Mars comes out next week, season four. So I really need to catch up on those episodes as well. But first things first, a bike ride and ninth house. So I'll talk to you guys later for an, another update. Hey guys, Lori here. I'm back. I did actually make a lot more progress on ninth house by Lee Bardugo. I'm now on page like 211. The story is getting a little bit more clearer right now. And I think that I have finally identified the mystery that's going to be taking place in this novel. Um, which is actually really, really cool. I definitely do like it. It's definitely one of those books where I, normally when I read, and this is like, I normally read with like background noise or I put on booktube videos or I like watch like a show and I'll like watch, like read during commercials. But with this book, I really can't do that. So this is probably my book I'm going to read when I'm out in like a park or like bike riding or stuff like that just because I like can really focus on it. And my goal is to read like 100 pages a day of this. But then in the evenings, I tend to like watch TV or like watch Netflix or Hulu. And I tend to like watch TV shows. So I can want to read something that's a little bit more like I can 
not be as focused on if I need to. So I'm going to pick up Keeper of the Lost City's Exile by Shannon Messenger, which is the second book in that series. I really enjoyed the first one. I thought the first one was like super well crafted and I really enjoyed it. And I've heard amazing things about this series from Regan on Peru's, po Peru's Projects. Um, and this book is, again, is another long one, but I read these books really, really fast. The font is, like, so big. So I'm going to watch some really behind booktube videos, and then I'm going to watch the last episode of The Flash, and then I'm going to dive back in, d dive back into The Umbrella Academy um, because I have to finish episode two. But, yeah, that's my reading plans right now, and then tomorrow I'll go back to this and I'll read 100 pages of it. Um, that's kind of my plan. It's a very, very compelling read. Um, and I'm loving the timeline stuff. It's just a book I really have to focus on when I'm reading and I can't do anything else. Um, and that's not normally how I read. Um, but I am excited to dive into Keeper of the Lost City's Exile. I do have every other book in this series, so this is just like a nice, like, motivating to actually pick this one up. But yeah, that's my reading plans for right now, and I'll check in when I make a little bit more progress on my reading. Guys, Laurie here. It's actually super late. It's like 1030. Um, but I just wanted to check in and say that I did actually make progress on um, Keeper of the Lost Cities Exiles. I'm on page 84. This book is just so compelling. Um, it's set in like a fantasy world and this girl has been revealed to be like a an elf and the first book is her introduction to this world and this book is like just another sequence of her adventuring. But I'm just, I'm really liking it. It deals with a lot of harder issues that not always are addressed in middle grade stories, like grief. Um, and it's definitely like a continuous story, but I'm really enjoying it. There's a new type of creature that we meet in the story. Um, and it's been a while since I read Keeper of the Lost City, so I'm like trying to remember all like the roles of everybody. But I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, and now we're learning a little bit more about um, Sophie's foster parents past which I think is kind of interesting and there, there, there's just a lot of talk about grief and dealing with dying and death which I think is not always broached in middle grade but I think that it should be um so I'm on page 84 I did actually wind up finishing The Flash um well the season that I was on and I really liked how it ended I'm really curious I haven't looked up spoilers but I'm curious to know if Cisco the character is being written off or if he's going to be in the next season because he's one of my favorite characters um and they did end the season with um kind of a something that happened that I wasn't expecting um and then I watched a bunch of booktube videos from Su um, Alexa Love Books, Super Space Check and all that other stuff and I was doing it as I was reading um, and now I have to watch one more video and then I'm going to go watch episode three of the Umbrella Academy. Um, this video, I've said this before and my problem with watching YouTube videos is I always like want to be relaxed when I watch them and that's why when, um, or really focus on them. That's why when I was doing my show, I fell like four months behind on videos because I just really want to be in the moment when I'm watching them. So I tend to like let them like um I tend to let them like go and then I just don't watch them so I had I spent like literally three hours just watching all my older videos that I just wanted to watch um but that actually worked out tomorrow I hope to get some planning done um for school I start school the first week of September and my biggest goal is for those that don't know when I was hired to work at the school I was at I was hired the day before school started and it was probably the most stressful year of my life. And it's because I'm such a planner. I love to plan. I love to be organized. I love to know what's happening. And in that situation, I felt so out of control that I had no control. So I'm really taking the time now to really like plan and organize stuff. Um, and I'm taking the next two weeks. I am going on vacation with my cousin next week, which was which will be a lovely break. Um, but I'm taking the next two weeks to really like plan as much as I can reading wise so that when August comes, I can start really planning curriculum wise what I want to do. But it's just really important to me that I am in a much better place emotionally um, and emotionally like planning wise because when I don't plan stuff, it just makes me super stressed out. Um, and kind of going with this channel and stuff, I want to be able to give you guys content um, and have the time to do everything. Um, that's just kind of why I'm prepping as much as I can. And people keep telling me, well, Laura, you have all this time. And I'm like, 
I may have time, but I want to feel like when I come to the end of August that I have enough book, book content for you guys, but also feel really ready for my school year. Um, for those that don't know, I'm also a theater teacher and the second half of the year is insanity for me because we put up a production in about four months. Um, and I still haven't made a decision on the show that we're doing. Um, just cause we, there was a lot of like acting changes that happened last year. So I'm just trying to figure out what show would work for everyone. Um, so that's kind of where I am right now, but, um, I hope tomorrow that I will definitely get to reading. I really want to, um, make some progress on Empire of Storms and I possibly want to start the start of Me and You by Emery Lord. It just really depends on what the day brings and what we wind up doing. But I have actually got around to listening to a lot of stuff, like audiobook wise, which has been really, really good. Um, I fell off of that towards the during my Wonka show, um, but I've actually been getting around to listening to stuff. And I actually finished Geekerella earlier last week, which I blogged about that. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts right now. I'm sorry, this was kind of like a random update, but I just wanted to tell you guys what my plans are for this summer and what I hope to accomplish this summer. Um, but yeah, so I will definitely update you guys tomorrow. A small up, just a small reminder, I did get up to page 84 of Keeper of Velocity's Exile, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, tomorrow I will definitely make some progress on Ninth House. My goal is to read like 100 pages of that, and then go back to this tomorrow, and hopefully get some listening done as well. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update, or tomorrow as the case may be. Bye guys! Hi guys, Lori here. It's actually rather early on a Wednesday, um, and I did wind up realizing that next week is book two-bathon um, because they changed the name of it, so now it's like reading rush. So I'm going to actually participate in that readathon. Um, so I'm gonna spend today kind of figuring out my TBR. But last night I did wind up making in this morning. I did wind up making a little bit more progress on Keeper of the Lost City's Exile. Um, by Shannon Messenger. I got it to page like 94. This book reads super fast. I'll say that. It, and it always does. The print, the print's really, really big. But the one thing I like about this world is it's always like um, expanding and it's always dealing with more topics. So we're still dealing with um, the Black Swan group, but there's also other mysteries that kind of are developing. And I really like the main character a lot. I like her group of friends that we're meeting. Um, so I hope to dive into this later tonight. Um, I did also wind up watching, I think, episode three of the Umbrella Academy, um, which was actually really interesting. So I'm going to dive back and I'm going to go back into Ninth House. I am currently on page 212 and my goal before I leave, before I finish today, is to get up to 313 and read 100 pages of this. Um, I've said this before and like through, throughout this reading blog, but it is a very compelling story. Just one I really need to focus on. Um, I also have to listen to three chapters of Empire of Storms. And then I don't know what I'm going to listen to. Um, because of the readathon, I might wind up trying to listen to The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord next week because it does have five words in the title. But I'm a little bit unsure. Um, so yeah, that's my plans right now. I'm going to go for a quick well, a bike ride because it's getting really hot here so I like to do my, do my bike rides earlier read in the park for a bit and then come back and potentially plan for the rest of the day for school so I'll talk to you guys when I come back from my bike ride and let you guys know how much progress I have made I'll talk to you guys later for another update bye hi guys Lori here I'm just checking back in I did wind up making some progress on my reading and I actually get a I got a lot of listening done for um, Empire of Storms by Sarah J Moss, which I'm actually really enjoying. And I'm just gonna say what I've been doing for my planning because I feel like some people might be interested. Um, but what I've been doing is I um, inherited my job from um, a former theater teacher. So she had a lot of resources that I just never like got to read because I was hired so late. So what I'm doing is I'm just finding books that I think would be interesting resources for my kids. Um, I also work in a theater, so there's many times when my space gets, like, taken over. So I always want to have, like, materials for them that I think are interesting, um, but also, like, that connect back to theater. So the book I'm reading through right now is Best Plays Introductory, and it's just basically a breakdown to playwriting. So I'm just literally just reading through it all, and I'm making handouts so I have them available. That's what I've kind of been doing, um... And I have a bunch of books that I want to read and I want to get through, but that's the one that I'm working on right now. So it's this. It's 
best plays, um, any theater teachers. This is actually a really easy book. I have another one that's more akin to like play writing. And this is, but this is more akin to like play analysis and like what a play is. And what I've learned with my students is that it's not like a genre that they're really that familiar with. So I feel like that material might actually help them. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and then I wound up making some progress on Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm now on page 300, I'll say. It's actually really interesting. I think we just got to the point where I'm intrigued enough. Um, this book is very, it could, it could be a very, very compelling world. But it's also like a very, very dense world. Um, so I'm reading like 100 pages a day. Um, and that's kind of my plan because it's just, it's very like, um, it's, it could be very overwhelming, I'll say. But I am enjoying it. And then for the rest of the evening, I'm going to dive back in. And I'm going to read Keeper of the Lost City's Exile. Um, yeah, and I am definitely going to do my TBR for um, reading um, the Reading rush Rushathon. I'll do that probably like tomorrow. I still have a couple books I'm deciding about. But yeah, that's my update. I don't know what I'm going to watch tonight. I did finish watching The Flash, so I have to find something new to watch. I might probably pop in a couple episodes of Veronica Mars, but I'll definitely come back and update you guys my thoughts on Keeper of the Lost Cities Exiles when I'm done with that. Hi guys, Larry here. It's Thursday, July 18th, um, and today is Funko Hunting Day. Um, it's also the start of San Diego Comic Con in San Diego. Um, so they release all the Funkos in various stores and you have to go shop hopping if you want to get the ones that you want. Normally I'm, I'm at New York City Comic Con when this goes, when, like when, when the Comic Con one happens. So I always have a shot of getting them there. But my cousin's being generous enough to take me to a mall to go get two from Hot Topic, which I'm really excited about. I am also have to go... Um, I'm, I don't think, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm the bride, I'm the maid of honor at her wedding and we're going cake tasting. It's also really, really wet and rainy today. We are in the middle of getting a very, very bad, um, storm, um, like a hurricane. Um, and it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we're definitely going to go. Um, and I am still reading Keeper of the Lost Days Exiles. I'm actually going to read this on my way where I'm going and I'm going to read, have to read Ninth House, Ninth House later. Um. This book is getting really interesting. I'll say that. It's a very, it's like the world just keeps expanding. I'm, I'm really enjoying that part. I'm really loving the main character. And it deals with like a lot of like unique topics that you just don't see in literature. Uh, or especially middle grade literature. Um, but I do love how they're kind of taking like the hero trope for so Sophie and kind of like altering it a little bit. I do love the group of characters that we're meeting, and I do love how, I think Reagan said this too, but what I really like about this book series is that the adults have, like, an active role in it. Normally, when you read middle grade stories, like, the adults just kind of, like, vanish because to have extraordinary things happen to young characters, there has to be no other one to do these jobs, but you definitely do see, like, the adult's presence, and I think that that's a really interesting way to do the story so I'm really liking that and I'm on page 162 in it I also did wind up finishing watching Veronica Mars last night so I watched list watched my two chapters um or, and two episodes and I watched half of the Umbrella Academy um but I got a little bit distracted um so when I come home today I'm going to make some more progress on this and then I'm going to try to dive back into Ninth House and I'll be sure to update you guys when I get home and let you guys break let you guys know if I was successful getting my Funkos. Hi guys, Lori here. I'm just checking back in. Today was kind of an adventurous day. It was Funko release day for San Diego Comic Con and I went Funko hunting and I got a couple of Funkos for my collection. I'll be sharing those on Instagram because they're currently in the boxes. Um, and then I did a bunch of wedding stuff with my cousin and her fiance because I'm the maid of honor at her wedding. I finally got to see the venue that she's getting married at. Ironically, I saw every single venue she chose she wanted except for the one she actually chose so that was super fun and then we did like a bunch of like little shopping um so I did actually manage at making a lot more pro progress on exile and I have to admit now I'm hooked so I don't know I'm probably gonna probably wind up finishing this and then going back to ninth house um also the book tubathon is on Monday or it starts Monday um or the reading rush marathon so I'm actually probably gonna I'm probably gonna take my time with these two books and then hopefully by Monday be done with these um 
This book is so compelling. The one thing I really like about this book is that the world just expands so dramatically and you get to go, you go to like a different, you see different environments all the time. So the story does not get boring, which I'm really like in line, but I love the character of Sophie. I love her dynamics with all the other characters. I'm about 248 pages in and I still haven't hit um, the element that I was expecting in this book. Like it's like almost close to halfway through not halfway through because the book is close to 600 pages but I'm really curious to see where this book goes and the mystery that's fueling this whole series um but yeah it's been a while since I read such a long middle grade book like this like a long middle grade series but I'm really really loving these characters um so I'm gonna go make my TBR for re the reading rushathon and then probably get some reading done um tomorrow I am also going to epic read day um I don't know what happened to my camera so I'm gonna try to film a little bit on my phone um and I will definitely do a haul like probably um probably this weekend when I come back from seeing Spider-Man Far From Home um because I have a lot of books to show you um so keep a nose out for that and I'll definitely update you guys before I go to bed for the evening I'll talk to you guys later for another update bye this is Lori here I'm back outside again because it is about we are in the middle of like a really hot heat wave but it's not hot quite yet um, I'm also finally, and I do mean finally, going to see Spider-Man Far From Home with my dad. Um, it's been three weeks coming and I've had to avoid all the spoilers, but I'm so excited to go see it. I love Tom Holland. I loved um, Spider-Man Homecoming, so I'm really excited. Yesterday, I did wind up going to Epic Reads Day, which was so fun. I did not wind up filming just because that event is like kind of awkward to film at like it's just and I didn't have a camera so but I actually had a super fun time I got to meet Tahara Mafi, um Victoria Aviard Tiffany D, D, D Jackson um there was another one um I can't remember her name just Jason Justin Reynolds I think um, and then Elizabeth Acevedo, which who wrote, was supposed to be there, but she had a family emergency. Um, and Shelby Mahorin, who's writing Serpent and Dove. I feel like I'm missing an author. Um, but it was a super fun day. I went last year, and I am going to have a big book haul focusing on those books that I got from that event. Um, it's, I think the event's like $60 in New York City, and they invite a bunch of authors, and you get a goodie bag full of stuff. It was a super fun event, and I also won a gift card to the Strand from there, so then we, we, we went book shopping with a couple of my friends afterwards. Um, so that was my day yesterday. That's why I didn't want to update because I got home really, really late, and I was super tired. But I did actually make a lot of progress on Keeper of the Lost City's Exiles. I now on page 453 and this book goes up to 560 or 80 so I really hope to dive into this or complete this book today it's really really hot today so after Spider-Man Homecoming I might do a lot of my filming or I might try to go for a bike ride we will see but I'm really enjoying this book it's taking their theme of like grief and guilt and really spinning it into a whole new story also, the characters that you see in this book with Sophie are changing a little bit. So the group dynamics aren't always the same, um, which I'm really liking. You're getting a lot more of Keith. You're getting a lot more of Dex in this book. Um, the parents still have a very, very strong element. And now that the students are have returned to their school setting, you're kind of getting to see that Sophie isn't always perfect. And Sophie has issues. Um, and there are some issues that Sophie is unsure of. Um, there's also a big mystery that Sophie's trying to solve that I'm really connected to, which I'm really excited about. Um, but yeah, so that's my story about Keeper of the Lost City's Exile. Um, I hope to actually finish this book today. That's my goal. And then to dive back into Ninth House. Um, but yeah, so that's my thoughts right now. I'll be sure to update you guys when I come home from Spider-Man Homecoming or Far From Home and let you guys know my non-spoiler thoughts because I am finally, finally get to see it. But I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hey guys, Lori here. I'm back. I do, It has turned blistering hot outside. So I'm actually going to use today to film a lot of content for you guys so that when it gets a little bit nicer and when I go away on my small vacation that I'll have content for you guys. So I did, I did come back from seeing Spider-Man Far From Home. Boy, was that a good movie. I love Spider-Man Homecoming. I think that 
Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man, but this movie was really, really well-crafted. I'm really excited for it. I am really excited to see what the MCU does next. If for some reason you guys want spoilers, comment below. I don't really ever do movie reviews on the channel, but if you want it, I'll happily do it. Um, so I did actually make some more progress on um, Keeper of Velocity's Exiles. And now I'm on page 484. This book is getting to the point where I physically do not want to put it down. Um, so I'm going to film a bunch of videos for you guys because as I said, it's really hot and I shouldn't be outside because it's like over 100 degrees out. Um, and I want to film some stuff for you guys. So you guys will have a lot of content. My ultimate goal is to get a backlist of content for you guys so I can, um, when I start the school, I will just, I'll be ahead on videos. So that's kind of my plan right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go do, do that. I'm going to go unbox my Owl Crate unboxing, which I just got in the mail. Do a book haul, which actually is going to be a much longer book haul than I was anticipating making. But that's okay. And then maybe do some other videos while I have the time. But I'll see you guys later for another check-in. Bye. Guys, Lori here. I'm back. I didn't wind up updating you guys yesterday because by the time I finished filming some videos, it was a little bit later. But I did wind up finishing Keeper of the Lost Cities Exile by Shannon Messenger. This book was so much fun, so compelling. I love the characters. I loved how we got like a new group of characters that Sophie followed. This cast of characters is really, really big, but I liked how there was like different dynamics in this one. Really loved it. I, this book focused a lot on grief and guilt as the primary motivation. I love the structure of this. It's definitely like a 4.5 read. It was massive. This book was like close to 600 pages. But it doesn't feel like that. Like, I think I read this book in, like, three days because the print's really, really big. But also, it's just such a fast-paced story. I love the character of Sophie. I love how this world is expanding. So, I knew go when I finished this that I was going to have, like, a day um, to read something else because I want to start book two, but then I'm starting fresh. So, I spent, like, the whole day listening to Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas as I was cleaning but I also picked up Going Off Script by Jen Wilde which I've got about 150 pages and I definitely think I could finish this tonight before I go to bed because I would like to start book two with On Fresh tomorrow but this basically follows this girl named Bex. She winds up getting um, a job to being an intern on like her favorite tv show as like a writing intern and the show that they're doing reminds me so much of Teen Wolf, and I'm a massive Teen Wolf fan, so that's, like, great. Um, so she winds up, you know, and she's also an LGBT plus Q character, which I love that representation. And if you've watched Teen Wolf, you know that there's a lot of, like, I wouldn't say drama, but there was a lot of pushing that, that all the characters were in LGBTQ relations, which just wasn't, like, showcased. But I really love that show, and I thought, thought, was, what, thought what they did was awesome. But this book just reminds me a lot of Teen Wolf. Um, so this girl winds up being a writing intern. Her boss is kind of a disaster. He's like an asshole and he's terrible. Um, so she winds up writing a spec script to prove that she knows what she's doing. He winds up taking her script and passing it off as his own. There's an LGBTQ plus romance in here. There's actually, there's actually a bunch in this book. It's like so diverse. I love it. I love the diversity both in the sexual relationships but also in like or the relationships but also in like the characters that you see. It's a really really fast paced read. I'm already on page 151 and I'm really really enjoying it. So that's my mini update. I also did watch another episode of Umbrella Academy um, and I hope to watch another one tonight but yeah I'll catch you guys up when I make a little bit more progress on going off script. Hi guys! Lori here. I'm checking back in. I actually did make a lot more progress on going off script now on page 216 which is definitely impressive um it basically has hit the climax this girl um this girl has basically her script was stolen she's fallen in love with this girl now she's just kind of coming clean to everyone but something happened in the book that um is i don't want to give it away but like something happened that kind of is putting her career in jeopardy like where she's at and I'm really curious to see how this book, like, turns out. Like, I'm really, really curious. I don't want to give away what's going on because spoilers and all that. But I'm really liking her self-discovery in this book. And I'm loving being on, like, the set. I wish we would, um, this book is definitely focused on the relationship she's with and not really focused on the celebrity, which which is it, which I like. Um, I'm always, I always love when they interact with celebrities because I think it's, like, a fun trope. Um, but I am enjoying it. 
Um, so I'm, def I'm I'm actually liking it a lot. I love books set on like a TV set, and this one is definitely. Um, I love the diversity of this read. I really, really do, and I think it's dealing with a lot of like topics. There was like there was I'll say that there was a situation that happened. Um, that's kind of affecting the show because of an actor on the show and what the actor has said or done. So I'll say that. Um, and there's a lot of talk about, you know, creating gay characters on TV and why it's not done so often. And that stuff is, like, really compelling. And I think it's, like, just literally coming right off the page because that happens all the time in TV. And fridging characters and killing characters when they're girls or when they're in those types of relationships happens a lot. Um, so I'm really liking this and I really hope to actually finish this today. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to read because I really want to go in tomorrow kind of fresh for the book too, but then, but that may not happen. So I'm definitely hoping to finish this tonight and I'll give you guys my thoughts. I'm definitely going to end this reading vlog when I finish this book and start a new one tomorrow. So we can start new for book two with on or reading rush, but I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Hi guys, Laura here. I'm just here to come in and say that I have finished Going Off Script by Jen Wilde. I actually really enjoyed this book. It is, like, again, it's very similar to, like, Geekerella or Princess and the Fangirl, but it's very, very similar to those types of stories. Like, it deals with, like, um, it deals with, like, show culture and gay and lesbian relationships on TV and diversity and showcasing that. Um, and I think that it just shows, like, what potentially could happen in, like, a writer's room. And I really love the LGBTQ romance. I just loved, I love books that deal with the entertainment industry is really what I enjoy. But it was really, really impressive. Um, I found it to be super fun. I, I felt it to be a really, really quick read. The book, as I said in my other previous updates, reminded me a lot of the story of, like, Teen Wolf. Like, I was a big in the, in, in the Teen Wolf fandom. I really love the main girl. I think that it dealt with a lot of self-discovery issues. Um, but yeah, so this is the last book I'm, I'm going to finish for this readathon. Um, I mean for this, not readathon, for this weekend of reading. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the night. Um, I really do want to go into Tomorrow Blind for book t for the reading rushathon. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to pick something else up. I haven't decided. I might page through this as I'm watching some TV, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, the next reading vlog you guys see will be during the reading rushathon. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to close out this reading reading vlog and say thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what are some books that you read last week. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later for another update. Bye. Or I mean, I'll talk to you guys later for another reading vlog. Bye.